residents of the town of Blanford. And we are grateful for the initiative and support that our legislative delegation has shown on this issue, both today and in the past, with efforts by Representative Smitty Pignatelli uh, and former Senator Adam Hines to address this unfortunate part of our history. So with the dissolution of county government in Western Mass in the late 1990s, the Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance, or DCAM, became the owner of Cobble Mountain Road. The road at the time was an important connection to Blanford's neighboring communities, as well as a way to access the opportunities for hiking, biking, and picnicking, and more in the watershed surrounding Cobble Mountain Reservoir. The reservoir feeds a portion of Springfield's drinking water supply and is overseen by the Springfield Water and Sewer Commission. Uh, at the behest of the commission, DCAM allowed gates to be placed across the road in 2002, citing homeland security concerns. While the heightened state of alert that followed in the wake of the September 11th terrorist attacks has receded, uh, the gates remain. Blanford is in communication with Springfield Water and Sewer to ensure emergency access to the whole of the road. We also continue to work cooperatively with the commission uh, to ensure passive recreation access for Blanford residents and visitors elsewhere. We collaborate to advance our shared interests and to be good neighbors. Cobble Mountain Road is one issue, however, where the community has seen no movement for more than two decades. H2992 seeks to rectify that state of affairs by reopening the road to passive recreation between dawn and dusk. This is a modest bill, which we hope can be the first step in restoring this road as a critical connection for residents and reopening the area as a recreational asset for the region. Uh, this fall, I had the opportunity to visit Cobble Mountain Reservoir, normally inaccessible from Blanford, as part of an event hosted by Congressman Richard Neal. The site visit was part of envisioning, quote, a day without water, which was highlighting the critical role of federal funding for drinking water infrastructure. We hope that Congressman Neal and representatives from Senator Ed Markey's office also got a chance to imagine what it's like for residents to go more than 20 years without access to Cobble Mountain Reservoir. Right. And we hope Blanford's legislative delegation, both state and federal, can imagine a day when the watershed of this reservoir is treated like others across the state, critical drinking water resource for our urban and suburban communities that serves as an unparalleled recreational asset for the rural towns that live alongside it. I hope you will report favorably on H2992, and I thank you for your time, and I will be submitting written testimony as well. Thank you.